Now, we are looking into an equity gap in America and showing you how a group of Minnesotans is working to overcome it. Although people of color make up nearly 40% of the U.S. population, government data shows that nearly 70% of people visiting national parks and forests are white. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell introduces us to Minnesotans who are trying to make the outdoors a more inclusive place. Awesome. The grass may not be the side of an icy mountain, but that's the kind of rescue the Flatlanders Ascent Group has been preparing for weekly since February. It's about setting them up not only with the technical skills, but creating and making tools for them to become those community leaders. Hanel is leading the diverse group of 10 on a 10,000 foot climb of Mount Baker. Being a BIPOC person, Mountains in general is kind of an intimidating space. You know, we're not, they're not welcoming spaces and we're really just trying to create, starting to create that narrative. A lack of diversity in climbing is something Hema noticed when she first started. This is the first time I've ever climbed with a bike park group and it's just been really amazing to feel the connection of like having people um, around you that you can relate to. Getting into all of this was really, really intimidating, really difficult to find um, mentors that, you know, looked like me that could understand my community and teach me in a safe space. Rodell hosts American Alpine Club's BIPOC Climbing Nights and says programs like this are what's needed to make the outdoors a more inclusive space. I always get the feedback that without these type of events, they wouldn't have actually thought that they would be, this would be for them. Being that expensive gear and travel is often a barrier for many. They're fundraising for the trip. It's my first time waking at a, up at 8 p.m. to go up a mountain. <laughs> and hope to make it a yearly one. Like, I'm just really excited to suffer up the mountain with them. <laughs> In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO4 News. Good luck. There are a lot of camps for kids to choose from this summer, but not all of them are affordable. In St. Paul, one coach is making sure parents don't have to worry about cost. Ren Clayton has the story. Now eight and seven to go to Coach Bennett. Leo Jackson is creating an environment free of worry. That's just like my happy place. Football is just my happy place. You guys are going to go all the way down to Coach Dorian. His twice weekly summer football camp is also free of charge. That's what I think makes this a, a great place to be because you get to see people from all over the community that you might not be seeing for a long time. Held at the Johnson High School football field in St. Paul, providing opportunities for players through middle school age to learn the fundamentals from experienced coaches, most of whom played in college, an opportunity that normally comes with a cost. A lot are hosted by, you know, celebrity professional athletes, but they're unaffordable. They're anywhere from 130 to $200, and it's great, it's an amazing opportunity for kids to be able to go to youth camps and see their idols, but the reality is that's a whole day's pay for a lot of people, sometimes two. Jackson is the president of the St. Paul Football Club, but says this camp is not a recruitment tool even encouraging players from rival youth football organizations to play. Currently, there are 217 kids in this year's camp. I feel like they're doing a great deed because a lot of the camps cost a lot of money. Jennifer Hartman has been bringing her son here for two years. There's like families in the suburbs that need this as well, and I th this is open to everybody. It's not just for St. Paul kids, it's for all kids. So a lot of the kids that you do see here are from all over the metro area that do come in. For the Jacksons, it's a family affair. It's just pretty fun to have everybody here. Leo's daughter, Leana, captures video to be reviewed and studied later. We can see what like people need to do better, what they did perfect. And Leo Jr. is learning the game with the group. Yes, sir. My dad gets to help a lot of people and I get to spend time with all my friends, my brothers and everyone else. Serving in his favorite place. I could be any place, you know, in the world right now, but I truly would rather be right here with the kids in St. Paul getting in some work. In St. Paul, Ren Clayton, WCCO4 Sports. That's our show. We hope it lifted you up and maybe even inspired you to do some good. You can see more of these heartwarming stories every week on our Sunday morning show at 7 a.m. WCCO TV. Thank you for being here with us and we'll see you next week.